Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen. This is Jen's Happy Home. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can be updated every time I share a new and fun video. I have lots of really great content coming your way, especially during the holiday season. So please make sure that you are subscribed. And I am going to share with you today some really great crock pot recipes. Crock pot recipes are just the way to go. I really love to use the crock pot, especially this time of year. It is so nice and easy to set everything up in the morning and have no worries in the evening. Dinner is already made for you. So the crock pot is my favorite and I'm always looking for new recipes to try. So this week I am going to share with you lots of quick and easy and nutritious healthy crock pot recipes. I'm going to have a vegetarian dish. I'm going to have chicken, pork, beef, and I'm even going to end with a great dessert. So lots of fun recipes headed your way. I will leave a link in the description below in regards to the cookbooks that I'm using or the sites where I found these recipes. And I am really looking forward to trying some new recipes as well as using some old recipes that I have used many times for my family and they thoroughly enjoy it. So I really hope that you enjoy coming along with me this week as I make nothing but crock pot meals for an entire week. <laughs> so today I'm going to be making a vegetable chili and this cookbook is the Crock-Pot Slow Cooker Cuisine Cookbook by Rival. This is an old cookbook that I've had for a while, but I thought it would be fun to do a vegetable chili. So everything is prepped and ready to go. And I'm going to do all of the chopping and prepping and I'm gonna get it in the crock pot and I believe it cooks for six to eight hours on low. Okay, today we're using the Cook It and Forget It Cooking Light for Slow Cookers Cookbook. <laughs> That's a lot to say. This is by Phyllis Good and I use this book a rather a lot and there's some really great recipes in it. So today I'm going to be doing the One Pot Easy Chicken and I'll let you know anything that I change up because there are a few things that I'm doing differently, but here are all of the ingredients that we're going to need and I have everything laid out. So I have a seven pound chicken. You're supposed to take the skin off, but I am not because this recipe is for more for like chicken parts and they're telling you to remove the skin, but I'm going to use a whole chicken and I'm going to keep the skin on it. <laughs> so that's different. And then I have all my veggies out. It's just potatoes and carrots and onions. Here are all of my spices. I'm supposed to have basil and rosemary, which I do not, and wait, no, not basil. I think it's oregano. Yes, I'm supposed to have oregano here and I did not have that and I did not have rosemary either. So I am going to substitute with this Herbs de Provence blend. And there is a few different ingredients in here that I think will go nicely with this recipe. We have thyme, 
marjoram, rosemary, basil, fennel, sage, and lavender. So I'm going to use this to supplement for that. And then we have some garlic salt, some cloves. You're supposed to use whole cloves. I'm using just the dry powder cloves for taste, some black pepper, and some lemon juice. And just so that you guys know, when I put in my spices, I don't take the actual measurements. I just kind of guesstimate how much I would like to use. So you can refer to the cookbook if you want to do exact measurements, but when it comes to larger portions and liquids, I do always measure it. So we need a half cup of lemon juice. So I'm going to get to prepping here and I'll get everything in the crock pot and ready to go for today. They keep on telling lies. That is how we stay alive. So you know that I don't mind About what is wrong and what is right They keep moving in different rhythms Still I know what you feel They keep moving in different rhythms mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two different minds Telling lies leave the link to all of these recipes below but this one I'm super excited about it's the slow cooker pulled pork stuffed sweet potatoes that just sounds like the perfect fall meal and look at this picture it looks so good so basically you're going to cook sweet potatoes with a pork shoulder or a pork butt and here's all the ingredients I'm gonna go lay everything out now and then once you cook it all day in the crock pot, you're gonna shred the pork and put it in the potato, like stuff the potato, and then you can drizzle either barbecue sauce or sour cream over the top or onions. Ugh, this just sounds really good, so I'm really excited for it. And we'll see how it comes out. All right, so it just finished cooking, so I'm gonna take it out and see how it turned out. All right, so I took the potatoes out and I shredded the pork in the crock pot. Now I am going to cut open the potatoes and fill them with the pulled pork, and then we'll get our toppings out. Today's recipe is inspired by this cookbook, which is the Busy Day Slow Cooking by Gooseberry Patch. They have a lot of really cute cookbooks and I love their slow cooker cookbooks. So in an effort to use things that I already have on hand, I'm actually going to be using some of the Yankee Pot Roast recipe and some of the Pot Roast Dinner recipe. So it's gonna be a combination of these two section of ingredients so I have a few things from here and a few things from here and I'm going to combine it all so I am definitely altering this recipe but I will show you everything that I'm going to be using in today's pot roast dinner 
So I have some chuck roast here. It is about three pounds. And then I'm using carrots, red potatoes, two onions. I'm going to use up an orange pepper that I have, a can of diced tomatoes. I'll be making about two to three cups of vegetable broth. I'm not sure yet. I have to wait and see how much liquid we have in the pot when I'm making it. And then we have some oregano, some basil leaves, and some garlic powder, and a few carrots. I don't remember if I said carrots yet, but <laughs> we have three carrots there too. So I am going to chop everything up and put the pot roast in, throw in all the other ingredients, and we'll cook it on high for about four to five hours, I believe. And that is going to be today's pot roast dinner. I also did a 1950s inspired pot roast dinner. So I'll definitely leave that in the description above because it came out delicious and it was a lot of fun to make. But today we're gonna give this a try. And using a pepper is totally new to me as well as the diced tomatoes. I've never done that before in a pot roast. Potatoes, carrots, onions, things like that have always you know, been a part of my pot roast recipes but I think it's gonna be interesting and hopefully it's going to taste really good. Okay, so here is what it looks like. I just opened it up. I'm gonna take out the meat and I'll probably just like shred it, pull it apart, but it looks really good. Okay, so this was in for about six hours because I was running a little bit later for dinner than I anticipated, but this is pulling apart really, really nicely. Now I'm just gonna pour some of the liquid on top just to keep it nice and tender. And then we'll scoop out the vegetables and that will be dinner tonight. This is recently one of my favorite meals and the whole family always enjoys this. So it's really, really good. Definitely a nice Sunday night dinner too because it's just really hearty and you can let it cook all day and have your weekend to yourself, <laughs> which is always nice, but this is great meal and I think it's going to be really good with the peppers which like I said before that is new to me and here's tonight's dinner delicious finally we're going to try out a crock pot dessert this is from the slow cooker appetizer soup stew sandwiches sides and delicious desserts cookbook and I want to try out this apple crisp but I'm not going to add I believe it's dates. Yeah, I'm, I just wanna do a straight up apple crisp. So I'm going to omit that part. Here's what it is supposed to look like. And here are all of the ingredients that I still need to get together. So I have some apples, lemon juice, dates, which I'm taking out, um, quick cooking oats, unbleached flour, light brown sugar, cinnamon, ginger, salt, nutmeg, cloves, and butter. So let's get to this. It only needs to cook for four hours on low or two hours on high. So I might actually go for the two hours on high.
always hard to show you guys what it looks like because the steam is coming at me, but it is done. It looks and smells so good. Okay, I just tried some. It is really good, but definitely, sorry, it's fogging up again. <laughs> Definitely could use some whipped cream or ice cream or something on it would just make it that much better. I really hope that you enjoyed the recipes that I shared with you guys. It was a lot of fun to bring you along and hopefully you found some new recipes to try. Let me know in the comments below if there is a favorite crock pot recipe that you have. I am always interested in trying out new crock pot recipes because I really use my crock pot a lot, especially this time of year. So please let me know if there is anything that you would like to share in the comments below. I would love to know about it. All right, thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure that you are subscribed. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy videos like this. And also hit that bell notification somewhere up top. I always use the wrong arm, so I'm just gonna do both. <laughs> Make sure that you hit that bell notification so that you are certain to be updated every time I share a new video. I hope that you guys are all doing well and I will see you real soon. Take care. Bye.